everyone, Mirosama here again, bringing you another Import Treasure Special. Now that I've reviewed a Sega Saturn game, I think it's time that I show you how I personally import Sega Saturn games. First, let's take a look at our Sega Saturn. Mine's a uh, Model 2, it's an American Sega Saturn. Uh, there's really two ways to go about importing Sega Saturn games. You can, of course, get a Japanese Sega Saturn system, but as I said in my last special, that could be worth too much money. I mean, I haven't really done a lot of research, but I have seen that uh, Japanese Saturn system can get pretty pricey. So if that's just too much of a hassle for you and you already have an American system, there's another way to go about this. Uh, there's really, unlike with the cartridge games, there's no differences in the Sega Saturn games um, other than really the packaging and of course the region uh, code. But let's take a look at the packaging, just because I mentioned this in my last uh, in my last review. Here we have our American game, and here we have our Japanese game. Can you tell which one I like better? Really, um, I know this is a bit off topic, I see no point as to why we packaged them this way, seeing as that PlayStation games were coming out around the same time, and though they were packaged like this at first, they later reverted to the jewel cases, whereas Sega Saturn never did. And even Sega CD was packaged in jewel cases. But uh, as you can see, I mean, everything is exactly the same. So, how do you import without modding up the system? Very simple, because at this time they were starting to notice uh, these things with region codes, but they still weren't carrying, except for the PlayStation. PlayStation's pretty tricky. But, this is all you need. Actually, there's another way to go about it, but this is basically all you need is a game chart for the Sega Saturn. And you put it in your memory slot, and then when you turn it on, it'll go to the game chart code, which will go over the region code, so it'll automatically think it's an American game, and you just press start game without enhancements, and boom, it'll start up. Um, there's an easier way than mine than doing this, and uh, because... So for so, those who play Sega Saturn games, you'll know that the battery in the Sega Saturn is that it does run on a battery and it's a five-year battery. Once the battery, that's right in this little pocket here, that I can't get open at the moment, but it's right in this little pocket here. Once that dies, your game data's gone. So, of course, those, those who have Sega Saturns will know that you use this for your memory card. Well, if you just have a Game Shark, you know, you're going to be putting it in, you're going to be switching it out, which is what I do, and that's rather annoying. So there's this other thing that you can get. I believe it's made by Action Replay, and it's called a 4-in-1 or a 5-in-1, and they can get pretty expensive. I've seen like $50, but they are Game Sharks and memory cards, so you can import and save the same thing, so you never have to take it out like I do. So I just have a normal Game Shark. I would suggest getting the 4-in-1 uh, or the 5-in-1. It's called something like that, Try Action Replay 4-in-1 or 5-in-1. I mean, you'll know the description when you see that that's the one. And that's why I would suggest getting other than just a plain old Game Shark. But I mean, unless you're strapped for cash and these can come pretty cheap, maybe $10. So, other than that, there is absolutely nothing when it comes to importing on a Sega Saturn. It's just that easy. And when it comes to you who own Sega Saturn, I would highly suggest importing. Only about 500 games ever came to America, and there's just so many that didn't make it here. I mean, I reviewed Link O'Liver's story, but there's so much more that I want to get to, a lot that I don't even own yet. This is probably another one that I'll get to eventually, Magical School Lunar. Uh, probably won't be till much later, because this is a slightly popular game that people know of. But, uh... That's how you import on the Sega Saturn. So uh, those who have Sega Saturns, if you didn't know how to do this before, now you do. And uh, for those who don't own a Sega Saturn, I would suggest getting one. I've surprisingly only had mine for about two years, and it's like probably my favorite system next to the Super Nintendo. But you can get the most fun out of it if you import, because like I said, thousands of games came out in Japan, and only around 500 in America. It was just not fair. So, this is probably the system you're going to see the most in import treasures. So, uh, have fun importing and have fun playing games.